I'm Dr. Anthony Gustin, and I'm here to tell you the difference between keto and ketoacidosis. One is a normal metabolic state, and one is something that's seriously life-threatening. And so, keto is not dangerous, and it will not kill you. There's been a lot of confusion. It's been getting easier now, but when somebody says keto, maybe to a doctor or a nurse or anybody who has type 1 diabetes, they think, oh my God, emergency, let's go to the hospital. And so, they're actually thinking of a state called ketoacidosis. And so if you measure your ketone levels in your blood, a normal state of ketosis, you're at you know, 1.2, 1.5 millimolars, is how you measure ketones in your bloodstream, you know, even up to four, five, six. But when we're looking at ketoacidosis, your levels are at 20 plus. So the good news is that if your pancreas works at all, like it should, it's actually physi physiologically impossible for you to be in a state of ketoacidosis. Why is that? Because you'll have little bits of insulin that'll be secreted and your body will have a tightly regulated metabolism that is able to keep the ketones in a very stable amount. And so your blood glucose will be regulated and your ketone levels will be regulated and everything will be exactly what your body needs at whatever given time. It's, it's literally impossible if you have a normal functioning pancreas, and I'll say this again, like if you do not have a destroyed pancreas, you cannot have ketoacidosis. So, where this does come into play and why people are confused about it is it's, it's a medical condition when, so type one diabetics, their pancreas, what happens is that it's so destroyed that it doesn't produce insulin. And so what happens is that you start getting this dysregulation of glucose versus ketones and the ketones get so out of whack that your body actually creates this acidic state that can be really, really damaging for a lot of different cells and organ systems. Not good, so that is a, that is a problem. Also, if you're in a late stage type two diabetic, so Keto, ketogenic diet can be great for treating diabetes and reversing that, but if you're really late stage, you probably need to watch out a little bit and make sure you monitor that with your doctor to make sure that you're not getting ketone levels super, super, super high. So maybe a follow-up question is, can type one diabetics do a ketogenic diet? Again, please titrate your insulin levels with your doctor, but a lot of type one diabetics have been able to manage their condition really, really easily with a ketogenic diet, and it's not like a ketogenic diet immediately puts them in a state of ketoacidosis. So those two things are very, very different. So one is a state, normal meta metabolic process that you just start using fat for energy. Again, if you have a normal functioning pancreas, you'll know that or not then you have nothing to worry about. Ketoacidosis, not a great thing. If you, again, if you have a dysfunction, dysfunctional pancreas, you're, you're gonna know that. So if you have type one diabetes or type two late stage diabetes, you should be aware of this and make sure that you know the symptoms, signs, and everything like that. So that way you can get the help you need if that becomes a problem. So if you have any questions about keto versus ketoacidosis, leave them in the comments below or send me a message on Instagram. I answer every single one of those. So Dr. Anthony Gusson on there. And we will see you guys next time.